This video is about how to apply a radial heat map. You have two different options when wanting to apply a radial heat map, and it will give you a different visual. The two different options are area around the pins and overlapping radius areas. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do both of those on this video. So first I'm going to show you how to do a radial heat map with the area around the pins. So here on the map I have plotted all my sales data for the eastern part of the United States. And what I want to do is I want to identify the areas where I have a large number of customers. So to do that, it's very simple. I click here on this drop down menu and select heat map. Now this menu is going to appear and I can then check how I want to apply the heat. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to choose area around the pins, which is the default. Now I'm going to set the size. I'm just going to keep it at this at 50 miles. And then I can base my heat map off of location density or data set values. Data set values allows me to use any quantitative column that I've uploaded in my spreadsheet to make the heat map. But like I said, I just want to figure out where the areas are that I have a high number of customers. So I'm just going to click on location density. And then I hit save. And there you go. Now you can easily see which areas of the United States have a high number of customers. Obviously the pins are there, which make it a little cluttered. But don't worry, we can easily remove those. All you need to do is click here on this marker and then change the visibility from yes to no and hit save. And there you go. Now you have just the heat map with the pins being removed. And that's how easy it is to apply a radial heat map using Mapline. Now we're going to switch gears a bit and we're going to zoom in here to this area of Chicagoland because now I'm going to show you how to apply the heat map using the overlapping radius areas. So here I have all of my employees plotted on the map and I want to figure out where is the best place to put my office and I want to do it so that the highest number of employees have to travel a very small distance. So what I'm going to do is again I click here on this drop down menu and select heat map. Now I've made a change already so it's overlapping radius areas and I'm going to set the size to 5 miles and again I'm going to use location density but if I had any quantitative values that I wanted to use it would also give me that option with the data set values. And now there are other options as far as advanced options and you'll notice that there's another little question mark here. If you click on either of these it will open up a page that will describe a little bit more about good use cases for each of these two different types of heat maps and what these advanced features are and how they will make your map look. Now, I have everything set, the advanced options are fine, I'm just going to hit save. And there you go. Now I can easily see that the area where the most number of pins are overlapping with those five miles is right here in the center. So again, I'm going to hide these pins by clicking on this marker right here and changing the visibility from yes to no. And again, these areas where it is red is obviously where the highest number of pins intersect with those five mile circles. And obviously the blue is where the least number intersect. So I could easily say, I want to find an office within this area to be able to make it so that the highest number of my employees have to travel less than five miles to get to the office. And that's how easy it is to apply a radial heat map using the overlapping radius areas in Mapline. If you're still a little unsure about which is which, please come back here to this heat map menu and click on one of these two question marks. That will then open up a page in Mapline that will describe a little bit more about the differences between the two and when they are best to be used.